display, share through. Soompi.1x1 Singapore Kim recently posted about how his agency staff received threats from another entertainment agency. On July 4, Paul Kim uploaded a post on social media detailing the circumstances around the threat. He had received a request to record an OST within the month from an agency with close relations with his own management agency. Soompi. Display. News. English.300x250. BTF Soompi. Mobile. English.300x250. ATF however, as Paul Kim already had a full schedule due to concerts, his agency refused the request. Then the head of the other agency called one of his staff members and said, I've done manager work for more than 20 years. How long have you been a manager? Is there anyone that knows who you are? Paul Kim wrote, They threatened us to an unbelievable extent, rather than simply power tripping, they threatened someone with the same life and career as themselves. When I thought about how often they did this, I realized that my agency really needs to be tougher. The person knows who they are and I hope that they live the life carefully from now on. He continued, people at my company said that it was not a good idea to upload something as emotional as this, that there might be unforeseen damage to us if I do. But I did nothing wrong and was treated badly, so why do I have to hide how I feel? The people who hear my story might also have experienced something like this and been forced to hide it, and lived their lives much more miserably than I have. I can't live like that. I'm upset and angry. Paul Kim debuted in 2014 with the song, Would You Like Some Coffee, and gained popularity after performing on various OSTs for dramas like, Should We Kiss First, and Black Knight. Source 1